But if they're autonomous, they could be used, I don't know, five times more, maybe, maybe 10 times more. The latest news from Elon Musk's new Tesla engine is about to rock the entire automotive world to its core. Whispers of revolutionary new engine technology that have been swirling for months are finally starting to lift. So what exactly is this game-changing innovation? What does this mean for the future of driving? And what sets this engine apart from the competition? Revolutionizing the road. Elon Musk has always been laser focused on one thing, accelerating the world's transition to sustainable energy. From the sleek and groundbreaking electric vehicles that have captured the world's attention to the game-changing advancements in battery technology, Tesla has consistently proven that they're at the forefront of the green revolution. But now they've set their sights on an even bigger challenge, the hydrogen engine. That's right, the very same Elon Musk who once dismissed the idea of hydrogen as a viable energy source has now fully embraced this cutting edge technology. So what changed his mind and what makes this engine so special? Let's break it down. But before we dive into that, take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel. What's the big deal? Imagine a world where your car could efficiently run on water instead of gasoline or electricity. Sounds like science fiction, right? But Tesla is stepping up to the plate with its groundbreaking water-powered engine, and it just might change the game for both internal combustion engines and electric vehicles. By harnessing the most abundant resource on Earth, water, Tesla is aiming to shake up the long-standing automotive industry, which has been heavily reliant on fossil fuels and traditional battery technology. With this innovative new approach, we could see not just enhanced vehicle performance, but also a significant reduction in the environmental impact that has troubled our planet for decades. Firstly, let's dive into how this could disrupt the current market for internal combustion engines. By replacing fossil fuels, the water-powered engine can eliminate the need for gasoline or diesel, fundamentally changing how we think about fueling our vehicles. This means that instead of pumping gasoline into your tank, you could simply refill it with water. Imagine driving a vehicle that not only saves you money on fuel, but also addresses crucial environmental concerns associated with oil extraction and combustion pollution. It sounds revolutionary, doesn't it? And it could be on the horizon if Tesla's technology succeeds. But it's not just about internal combustion engines. The advent of a water-powered engine could also elevate the capabilities within the electric vehicle market. One of the biggest issues consumers face with conventional battery-operated vehicles is range anxiety. We've all been there. You're on a road trip and you start to sweat because your battery indicator is dipping dangerously low. The water-powered engine could be the answer to those worries. Hydrogen fuel cells can offer longer, more sustainable driving ranges, while also boasting much quicker refueling times. Imagine cruising through the countryside knowing you can quickly refuel with water and continue your journey in no time flat. For people seeking efficiency and convenience, switching to hydrogen could become an irresistible option. Now, let's talk about market expansion. With this innovative water-powered technology, Tesla could penetrate new market segments that have been largely ignored by current automotive technologies. Heavy-duty applications like long-haul trucking and construction equipment often require long-range capabilities and speedy refueling. These are the places where traditional battery electric vehicles struggle, primarily because of the significant weight and charging time involved with carrying a battery. However, water-powered engines, with their lightweight components and quick fill-up process, could totally change this landscape. This means more efficient operations for businesses that rely on heavy-duty vehicles and a significant reduction in operational downtime for refueling. Environmental Sustainability one of the most remarkable features of Tesla's water-powered engine is its incredible promise for fostering environmental sustainability in a world grappling with climate change. Imagine this, a vehicle that not only moves us from point A to point B, but does so while also being a steward of the planet. It's a captivating idea that can change the way we think about transportation entirely. Let's talk about clean byproducts, shall we? When we consider the emissions produced by traditional internal combustion engine vehicles, the horror of greenhouse gas emissions hits hard. But here Here's where the hype about Tesla's technology becomes more exciting. Its water-powered engine primarily emits water vapor. That's right, just pure, harmless vapor escaping into the atmosphere. It's like a breath of fresh air compared to the smoky exhalations of the cars we're all used to. And it gets even better. Picture a scenario where this innovative engine is fueled not by fossil fuels, but by renewable energy sources such as solar, wind, or hydroelectric power. Now, with this combination, the entire journey from water to usable fuel could be almost entirely 
entirely carbon neutral. Think about the implications. If the electricity powering the electrolysis process comes from clean green resources, the total emissions related to operating the vehicle could plummet. We're talking about a drastic reduction in carbon footprint, a game changer for combating climate change. So as we delve deeper into this groundbreaking technology, it's hard to ignore the overarching significance of its environmental benefits. A water-powered engine isn't just a technical marvel, it's a potential turning point in our battle against pollution and environmental degradation. We're on the brink of a revolution that could redefine our relationship with energy. Imagine stepping into your car not just to drive, but to participate in a movement towards a cleaner, more sustainable future. The automotive world is on the brink of a monumental transformation, a real game changer, as Tesla's groundbreaking hydrogen engine technology threatens to disrupt everything we thought we knew. Picture this. For years, giants like Ford, General Motors, and Volkswagen have poured resources into electric vehicles, convinced that battery electric cars would reign supreme in the clean transportation arena. But then, out of nowhere, Tesla takes a sharp turn towards hydrogen fuel cells. This bold move has sent shockwaves through the industry, compelling these established players to rethink their entire playbook and consider a more diverse strategy for the road ahead. Market Dynamics the traditional car manufacturers have been laser focused on developing battery electric vehicles, which they believed would be their ticket to hitting sustainability targets. But now, with Tesla announcing its hydrogen powered vehicles, the reality is hitting hard. Is it enough to keep their eyes solely on battery electric vehicles? Hydrogen's emergence as a legitimate alternative energy source is forcing them to think twice. It may be time for a serious overhaul of their portfolios. They might need to invest not just in one, but in several technologies to keep paying pace with this fast evolving landscape. Now, let's talk about the investment hurdles these companies are facing. Many automakers have already shelled out billions on battery technology and set up vast production lines for electric vehicles. For example, Volkswagen has firmly committed to an all-electric vision with its ID lineup and has heavily invested in battery production and the necessary infrastructure. But Tesla's strategic pivot towards hydrogen isn't just a bump in the road, it's a crossroads. These companies find themselves at a critical juncture where they need to figure out how to transition their investments. Do they double down on a technology that seemed like the future? Or do they explore this intriguing hydrogen option that Tesla has suddenly illuminated? Market positioning plays a key role in this unfolding drama too. Take Toyota, for instance. They've long championed hydrogen fuel cells, rolling out models like the Mirai. Yet the real kicker is that the limited number of hydrogen refueling stations has impeded its mass adoption. Tesla's advancements could act like a spark, boosting the credibility of hydrogen technology and nudging other manufacturers to take a serious look at it. So what does this mean for the future? The landscape of the automotive industry is changing, and it's not just a slight shift, it's seismic. Will these traditional automakers adapt their strategies in time to compete? Or will they find themselves stuck in outdated paradigms while Tesla races ahead? The clock is ticking on this one, and only time will tell who will lead the charge in this daring new era of mobility. A race to catch up. Now, let's consider what this means for the race to catch up. Tesla is sprinting ahead with its new hydrogen engine technology, and traditional automakers are finding themselves in fierce competition to keep up. They are now investing in alternative fuels and hydrogen technology to avoid being left in the dust. Major players are reacting in various ways. Toyota, for instance, could expand its hydrogen lineup and ramp up efforts to enhance the necessary infrastructure for refueling stations. This validation from the industry will likely push them further into hydrogen innovation. Hyundai has similarly staked a claim in the hydrogen realm with its Nexo model. With Tesla making waves in hydrogen investment, Hyundai may feel emboldened to broaden its offerings or enhance existing models, providing direct competition to Tesla. Meanwhile, Ford has made significant investments in electric vehicles but hasn't turned a blind eye to hydrogen fuel cells, especially for commercial applications. The company's renewed focus on electrification may lead to a re-evaluation of its hydrogen strategy particularly for heavy-duty trucks where speed and range matter immensely. Volkswagen has set itself up as a front-runner in the mass-market electric vehicle sector. However, with Tesla entering the hydrogen fray, they might need to rethink their previous hesitance toward this technology. It's high time Volkswagen took a hard look at their research and development initiatives surrounding hydrogen fuel cells. As for luxury brands like BMW and Mercedes-Benz, they've been playing in the hybrid and alternative fuel space but have largely centered their 
focus on electric vehicles. Tesla's new advancements in hydrogen could motivate them to accelerate their research into hydrogen technologies or alternative fuels to ensure they stay competitive in this fast-paced environment. But let's not forget the daunting challenges that come with this adaptation. Traditional automakers face uphill battles in several areas. Infrastructure development is a critical issue. Hydrogen refueling stations are still scarce compared to robust electric charging networks. Investing in both vehicle development and building a comprehensive network of refueling stations will be no small feat. Then there's consumer acceptance. Convincing the public to adopt new technologies can often feel like an uphill battle, particularly when most consumers are still accustomed to the familiar hum of conventional gasoline engines or the recent rise of battery electric vehicles. The threat to the oil industry. The threat to the oil industry is more real now than ever. The rise of hydrogen and water-powered vehicles marks a seismic shift that poses a significant threat to the entire oil sector. This transition isn't just a minor hiccup, it's a potential game changer that could ripple through economies, especially in regions heavily reliant on oil. Imagine the implications, an entire industry under siege, grappling with a new reality that could reshape global economic stability. Let's dive into the impact on oil demand, which is likely to take a nosedive. As consumers increasingly embrace hydrogen-powered vehicles, the demand for traditional gasoline and diesel fuels will likely plummet. We're not talking about a slight dip here. We could see a significant decline that sends shockwaves through the oil markets. What does this mean for oil companies? Decreased revenues, and we're not just talking about pocket change. They could find themselves facing serious financial challenges, especially if a large swath of the market pivots toward these clean energy alternatives. Now, let's consider the broader implications for economic stability. Regions that have built their economic foundations on oil production, think the Middle East or certain parts of North America, are in for a rough ride. The diminishing demand for fossil fuels could lead to a cascade of economic challenges. Countries that have relied on oil exports to fuel their economies may soon find themselves in uncharted waters. It's a wake-up call to diversify their economic strategies and shift focus before it's too late. The days of riding high on oil profits could be numbered. Investment shifts are another crucial factor in this unfolding drama. As automakers ramp up investments in alternatives like hydrogen, we may witness a corresponding decline in the money allocated to fossil fuel exploration and extraction. This is no small matter. It's a fundamental shift in priorities that could force oil companies to reassess their entire business models. They will have to adapt quickly to an increasingly competitive landscape dominated by renewable energy sources. Picture it, traditional oil giants suddenly facing pressure from nimble upstarts focusing on clean energy. As the push for hydrogen vehicles gains traction, traditional oil companies may soon find themselves in the crosshairs of a new wave of innovation. The question lingers, how will these giants transform in response to a future that is decidedly less reliant on their primary product? The oil industry is in the midst of an existential challenge, and adaptation will not just be a necessity, it will be an imperative for survival. So now you're probably thinking, if it's really this good, why hasn't anyone done it before? Well, let me explain. The concept of powering vehicles with water has sparked fascination and intrigue ever since the invention of the automobile. Just think about it. Water is abundant, it's renewable, and it feels like an infinite resource that can be found almost anywhere. It's no wonder that visionary inventors throughout history have set their sights on transforming this life-sustaining liquid into the ultimate driving force behind our modern machines. From the early days of the automobile to today's cutting-edge technology, brilliant minds have been fueled by nothing but their creative spark and the audacious dream of extracting energy from this plentiful source. But let's pause for a moment and address what might be running through your mind right now. Water is ubiquitous, so wouldn't that make it an endless energy source? Not quite. Here's where things get a tad more complex. Water isn't the energy source itself. Rather, it acts more like a clever middleman in the energetic ecosystem of our world. It doesn't generate energy independently. Instead, it carries energy along with it, almost like a molecular backpack stuffed with potential. That's an important distinction. Among the many methods explored by inventors to unlock the power of water, one of the most notable is electrolysis. In a nutshell, electrolysis is the process where electricity is used used to split water molecules into their basic components, hydrogen and oxygen. 
Think of it as a scientific magician pulling apart the elements of water to reveal their individual identities. When these two gases combine back together, they can theoretically produce energy strong enough to power an engine. Sounds fantastic in theory, right? But there's a catch. For this system to truly work, it has to be ultra-efficient, meaning it must generate more energy than it consumes in the process. And that, folks, has been the elusive holy grail for innovators attempting to develop a water-powered engine. As we turn our gaze to modern-day developers, a significant challenge looms ahead for car manufacturers like Tesla. The key question they face is whether they can devise a water engine that isn't an energy drain. Picture it as a scenario where the engine guzzles electricity like a thirsty traveler at a watering hole, ultimately sucking up more energy than it can yield. A nightmare for environmental consciousness and cost-effectiveness alike. To understand the constraints more clearly, we can refer to the absolutely unyielding laws of thermodynamics, which tell us a crucial fact. Energy can neither be created nor destroyed. It can only be transformed from one form to another. Extracting energy from water sounds appealing on paper, but here's the kicker. Getting that process rolling requires more energy than what we can realistically harvest from it. So let's face it, when it comes down to the nitty gritty, the efficiency of extracting energy from water is disappointingly low. What's the outcome you ask? Let's rewind a bit to the 1990s, shall we? And talk about Stanley Meyer, who swaggered onto the scene like a rock star with his so-called water fuel cell. He preached a bold vision where water could be split into hydrogen and oxygen. With barely any energy input, people were captivated. The media lapped it up like a thirsty kitten at a milk bowl, and investors were lining up eager to throw their cash at what seemed like the next big thing. However, the scientific community was far less enthusiastic. Approaching Meyer's claims with a healthy dose of skepticism. And unsurprisingly, as the days turned to years, Meyer's water fuel cell was ultimately debunked as a fraud. His untimely death cast a mysterious shadow over the entire saga, leaving many to wonder whether he took the truth with him to the grave. It's a tale packed with twists and turns, but it reflects a much broader theme present in the history of water-powered inventions. Fast forward to 2002, and we encounter Genesis World Energy, another contender in this saga who had the audacity to boast about a device that supposedly could extract energy from water. Sounds incredible, right? Investors were hungry for the next wave of innovation and poured cash into the company. Yet, as you might have guessed, they never delivered a working product. The founder, Patrick Kelly, who appeared to be riding high on this wave of enthusiasm, ended up behind bars in 2006 for fraudulent activities. The plot thickened yet again, casting a long shadow of doubt over the reliability of such claims. In the same year, we saw the rise and fall of Genepax. This company made headlines following a Sri Lankan named Tushara Priyal Desinga, who made a dramatic claim about driving a car 190 miles on just three liters of water. The buzz surrounding this assertion was palpable, especially when even the Prime Minister lent his backing to this miraculous feat. Yet, as with every tale of wonder, it was too good to be true. Tushara was later arrested for fraud, his exaggerated claims collapsing under the weight of reality. It paints a rather unfortunate picture of how far some are willing to stretch the truth. Then, on the scene emerged Arianto Melli, an Indonesian inventor who made waves in 2022 with the Nkuba device. He boldly declared that his device could convert water into hydrogen fuel, giving motorcycles the ability to run for an astonishing 500 kilometers on just a single liter of water. The claims didn't stop there. Mel went on to suggest that high-profile companies like Lamborghini and Ferrari had expressed interest in his revolutionary creation. Talk about a power move. However, scientists in Indonesia quickly stepped in to debunk Melly's grand assertions, asserting that his claims defied numerous laws of physics. Beyond the numerous claims of water-powered engines and devices, there lies a deeply rooted concern that has been gnawing at the back of my mind. Hydrogen itself. I don't know about you, but when someone mentions hydrogen, my mind inevitably drifts towards the infamous Hindenburg disaster. That's certainly not the association you want with your family car, is it? It. This brings us to the crux of the issue, safety. Companies like Tesla have to don their safety goggles and get down to business when it comes to hydrogen. We're not talking about a casual stroll in the park here. We're discussing rigorous testing protocols, multiple fail safes layered on top of each other, and perhaps even a team of anxious engineers pulling late nights to consider every potential what if scenario. The stakes are high and it's crucial to prioritize safety, especially when dealing with something as potentially hazardous as hydrogen fuel.
The future of transportation and the multifaceted landscape is on the horizon, and it's nothing short of revolutionary. As we stand on the brink of a significant transformation, advancements in technology, and a collective push towards sustainability are steering us towards a bold new era. Among the myriad innovations emerging, hydrogen shines brightly as a versatile energy source, one that could fundamentally change various sectors, extending far beyond transportation. This exploration will delve into hydrogen's pivotal role in our energy transition, the convergence of complementary technologies, the infrastructural hurdles we face, essential government policies, and the dynamic nature of global competition and collaboration in the shift towards hydrogen or water-powered technologies. In transportation, hydrogen fuel cells are like the Swiss army knives of the vehicle world. They can power everything from sleek passenger cars to heavy-duty trucks and buses. What's more, hydrogen's rapid refueling capabilities and extended range make it particularly appealing for long-haul transport scenarios, where every minute counts and efficiency is paramount. Shifting our focus to industrial applications, hydrogen is indispensable in sectors such as steel manufacturing and chemical production. It can serve as a vital feedstock for the production of ammonia, a key ingredient in fertilizers that ensures food security for millions of people around the globe. The implications here are significant. Think of how hydrogen can bolster both industry and agriculture. Moreover, hydrogen shines as an energy storage solution. Picture this. It can store excess renewable energy generated during peak periods, smoothing out the supply and demand equation like an expert juggler managing several balls in the air. This function not only helps stabilize the energy grid, but also maximizes the use of renewable resources. A fantastic win-win. Now, let's turn our focus to the convergence of technologies, which presents thrilling possibilities for the future of transportation. The integration of hydrogen technology with other emerging innovations could create new paradigms that we can scarcely imagine today. Take autonomous driving, for instance. Merging hydrogen fuel cells with autonomous driving technology could lead to the dawn of highly efficient transportation systems. Envision autonomous vehicles powered by hydrogen that glide through urban landscapes continuously. No lengthy charging stops required. This could masterfully enhance logistics and revolutionize public transport efficiency, leaving traffic congestion in the dust. Artificial intelligence brings even more exciting prospects. Imagine utilizing artificial intelligence to optimize hydrogen production processes through predictive analytics and machine learning algorithms, driving efficiency and slashing costs. But the magic doesn't stop there. Artificial intelligence can also fuel better fleet management for hydrogen-powered vehicles, optimizing routes and minimizing downtime. It's like having a digital co-pilot. Smart grids represent another thrilling intersection of technologies. By integrating hydrogen production with smart grid technology, we can achieve more efficient energy distribution. During periods of low demand or surplus renewable generation, excess electricity can be harnessed for electrolysis to produce green hydrogen, which can then be stored or utilized later. This not only ensures energy is used wisely, but it's another key step in making the energy landscape more resilient. Yet, while the potential of hydrogen is staggering, we cannot ignore the pressing infrastructure challenges that must be addressed for its widespread adoption. Take the current network of hydrogen refueling stations, for example. It's limited compared to the far more established electric charging stations. Expanding this promised infrastructure is essential to support the increasing number of hydrogen-powered vehicles that will soon navigate our roads. To roll out refueling stations, significant investment is essential. Urban areas and major transport routes will require robust refueling infrastructure, and public-private partnerships could play a pivotal role in funding these ambitious initiatives. Without teamwork, the vision of a hydrogen-powered tomorrow might remain just that, a vision. So what are your thoughts on the future of water-powered vehicles? Let us know in the comment below.